All right. Hey, everybody. Hi, Earth Signs. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is December 26th and 27th for you guys. Let's see what's going on here. I did get a lovely birthday present I want to share with you. This is the Sacred Destiny deck. So I'm going to use that for the blocks, uh, how to overcome the blocks. A really beautiful deck um, with good, good, I don't know, rich cards. So I really like to intersperse them. Listen to this. SAT words everywhere. Intersperse. All right, so uh, let's see what's going on for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. What's going on? I saw a lot of Virgo in the last couple of days. I think you probably know that, right? If you've seen the other readings, just saying. A lot of times in the fire readings, I believe, I believe, okay? All right, to the sea. Breathe. This one came up a lot today, okay? This one came up a lot with everybody and a change in the wind. So this to me feels like it's time for you to um, get prepared. Get prepared. Something is coming. Something big is coming. And um, I don't feel, I'm feeling like uh, it's important for you to um, ground, ground in your feelings, right? So not just like, okay, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to brace myself. It's not really like that. It's more like open. I'm open for what comes. I'm um, open to the universe. I'm open to what I have manifested coming in. There is a big change in the wind. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on for you. Feel free to swap around the characters. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. So if you're new to the channel, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Three of cups underneath. Oh, and here's the UPS guy. Maybe our Christmas dinner's here. That'd be great. All right, lovers, this is Gemini energy there. Magician. Seven of Cups. So um, let's see here. Let's keep going. Tower, okay, that's the change here. Empress. High Priestess. Boy, the Empress and High Priestess together. Knight of Wands, Two of Cups, all right, Emperor. So, thank you, UPS man. All right, so I feel like you could be dealing with, I see a Pisces, I see Sag, <clears throat> Aries. So it could be a fire sign, it could be a Gemini, Taurus, Libra. Okay, we'll look at all those in the extended. Um... I almost, I'm almost feeling like um, this, this is a relationship that hasn't really gotten off the ground yet, but I feel like it, it's moving in that direction. I feel like one of you is really manifesting this to come through, and this other person has had a major change. This other person has had a major change in their life, okay? So... I do feel like it's coming, but I feel like uh, if you're the one who's manifesting this, you might, um, you might, it might come as a big surprise when it does show up, okay? Big surprise. Change in the wind. Queen of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Death energy there. Six of Swords. So um, remember I was talking about the uh, air sign energy here. This person could be um, someone who is really strongly wanting to have a relationship in their life. They are single, okay? Um, I feel like they're in a good place, though. I feel like they've really, cho they've really chosen wisely. They're done with any kind of third party. They're done with any kind of thing like that. Moving forward, not interested. So this person is like, I'm only looking for my person. I feel like this could be you here. This is a big surprise. Tower and then Empress High Priestess. The tower energy here. Big ending that you've manifested. King of Swords. All right. Page of Wands. So <clears throat> I feel like you might have... Um, recently left something behind it was a very quick thing this is a um this is something that happened 
over the in a, in a matter of weeks and months, not years. Okay, it was, and when it finally did happen, it's like all these things were culminating, all these things were coming together, all these things were coming together, and then bam, something right out of the blue happened. So what I feel like is this person has been manifesting you to come toward them, and it's it's going to seem like it's out of the blue. It's going to seem like it's super fast. Even look at out of the blue. Both of these cards are very blue, very fast feelings oriented. I feel like there might have been feelings here a long, for a long time. This is not out of the blue. Seems like that to the, to the naked eye, to the outside observer. This seems like it's really fast, but I'm here to tell you it's not. Um, this has been going on for a long time. I feel like the two of you definitely mature, definitely interested in long-term connection. There might have been a little bit of a dalliance Okay, there might have been a little bit of flirting or something like that. This could have been a work relationship. A little bit of flirting, a little bit of something, but no, like not doing that. Okay, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. You guys are like, nope, not going down that road. All right, not really wanting that. The death energy here. And so, so that we can eventually move together. I feel like there's some really nice actual real feelings here. I don't feel like this is necessarily about sex or anything. This is about some situation that really needed to end for you. And it finally did end for you. There's going to there's going to be a um a quick pivot toward this person that actually has been happening for a long time, a really long time. All right? And I feel like you know what I'm talking about. This high priestess is, you know, you know, you know. So <clears throat> even though this seemed, so the Knight of Wands is here, the fast moving energy, because there's already, there's already love feelings, right? And the resistance of the third party thing is like, you know what? This is actually kind of real. This is real. This is not somebody I want to, I don't want to mess this up by having it be, an affair or anything like that. So you guys could have met at a party or a function or something. And this, this person has been sort of lying in wait for your situation to change and it's changing. Okay. It's changing fast. Wait a second. Let me, let me clarify that. It's changing. It's been changing over a long period of time. The outside, the people who are outside of you, like the neighbors and friends and stuff like that are going to be shocked that this thing has changed and also shocked that this person is in your life. You know, all of these chess pieces have been moving around for a while. I love this two of cups emperor down here. Yes. So I feel like you're going to, um, one of you is a little upset with how fast it's going to move into living together or being together. One of you is really kind of upset with that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, it could be the tour. It could be, um, the one of you who's, um, much more interested in, in marriage and family and things like that. The other one is like, let's just be together. Why do we have to stand on ceremony? There's something here about, yeah, but this is what it looks like to the outside world. We don't want to have our kids involved in something like that. That's not really what we want to portray to the outside world. So for example, um, you might be going through a separation or a divorce or something like that. And this is all sort of happening. It's a secret. All right. It's a secret. Nobody knows about it. Um, but it's also not the reason for the breakup. This happened after sort of the breakup went down. So there is no real desire here to have the two things linked. So one of you is very much resisting coming together too quickly. You do not want an, sort of an impropriety, the impropriety of the situation to become like a scandal or become, because I do feel like it's a small town. I do feel like it's a small community or a group of people or a small business, small working environment, and that would be a problem. So there's a very much a, a silent not a silent pact, but a pact to be silent. Okay. So I'm going to look at, I see Gemini here, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, all air signs. 
I see Sag and I see Aries, Taurus, Pisces, Scorpio. So Taurus, Pisces, Scorpio. Pisces, Scorpio, so water signs, a couple of earth signs, air. There's a lot here. So I will look at a lot of these um, uh, zodiac signs in the extended if you'd like to come with me. But in the meantime, know that everything seems peaceful. And then it, whoo, everything just changes on a dime. The relationship that wants to come in, I feel like you're both going to... Um, do a good job of trying to make that be delayed. You know, no matter how long it goes, it's, I feel like it's still going to be a shock to some people. Okay. All right. If you'd like to continue with me, the link is below. I'll see you over there.